Let me check for Okay, grade six. So today we are going, uh, started recording, okay, let's, uh, today we are going a worksheet on ratio. So we are done with the, how to simplify the ratio, how to ratio, write the ratio in the uh, simplified form, how, what are equivalent ratio we have already done. So just a quick revision. So let's see how we will do it, okay. Okay, so I'm going to ask, write the first question number one. Write the ratio in the simplest form. So that is 15 is to 5. Okay, so I want to ask question. And Selmo, how we write this in the simplest form? Can you give me the answer? And Selmo? Now, if you see 5 and 15, both comes in the table of? And Selmo? Both comes in the table of 5, right? Mm -hmm. So 5 times 1 is 5 and 5 times 3 is 15. So if I want to write in the simplest form, you can write this in the fraction form also. So if so, you can change it 5 times 3 is 15. I just it's Five times three is 15 and five times one is five. Okay, now come to the C part, uh, sorry, B part. 24 is to 32. Now I want to ask RC. RC, 24 is to 32 comes in which table? Uh, fraction table. Fraction table. Fraction table. Twenty-four and thirty-two. Okay, very good. So when we simplify this, if we divide by eight, right? So yeah. it will be what is the, the answer? Will be three to four. Yeah, because eight times three is twenty-four, and eight times four is thirty-two. Very good, Jason. So this is three is to four. Now come to the D part. D part is sixteen is to eighteen. Now sixteen and eighteen. Kyra comes in the table of what table? Which multiplication table 16 and 18 comes? Oh, um. Wait, two? 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 How about two? Yes, very good, two. So 16 divided by two is? 16 divided eight. by two is? Eight. And 18 divided by two is? Nine. So answer it 8 is to 9. Now come to the C part. We missed this. Okay, 14 and 35. This is easy. Now I want to ask um, Karen. Karen, can you please help me to tell uh, which multiplication table 14 and 35 comes? Um, it is in my... Yes, Karen? Karen, Calista Karen? Yes, miss. 14 and 35. Wait. Um, which multiplication table? Wait, wait. It's easy, right? Can you see the mm -hmm. worksheet? Yeah. So 14 and 35 comes in what multiplication table? How you can simplify this? You have to divide by? Seven divide by seven. So fourteen divide by seven is two. Fourteen divide by thirty-five is five. Right? So uh, fourteen and thirty-five come in the table of seven. So our answer is two is to five. Is it clear to everyone? Now let's move to the next um, question. Complete the equivalent ratio. Now you have to write the equivalent ratio. So I told you what are equivalent ratio? 
you have to multiply with the same number in this when we do simply simplest form we divide the number we divide by the same number in equivalent ratio we multiply right so a part a part is 7 is to 4 is equals to what 7 is to 4 so your choice there can be many answers for that you can multiply 7 is to 4 by 3 or by uh, 4, 2, it depends on you. Like suppose I multiply by 2. So 7 times 2 is 14 and 4 times 2 is 8. So the answer is 14 is to 8. Okay. So now in the same way you have to write the equivalent ratio. The answer is 12 is to 5 and here 50 is given to you. You have to find the blank. What will come in the blank? So I want to ask uh, Darwin. Darwin, can you help me to tell what will come in the blank? This is 12, this is 5, this is 50. So what will come here? What do you think? So this 5 represents 50, right? 5 times how much is 50? 5 times how much is 50? By what number you are multiplying? 10. 10, right? So what do you think? What number will come? 12 times. Same number you have to multiply the other. 120. Yes, very good. So I'm writing with the red. This is 120. Do you understand this? Do you understand all of you? Okay, now next move to the uh, next question. Uh, C part. 39 is to 24 is to 80. Now you have to write the equivalent ratio. So it's your choice, you want to multiply or you want to divide, okay? So who will give me the answer? Kelly, Kelly, can you please help me to give me the answer? What is the equivalent ratio to 39, 24, 18? What is? Yes, Kelly, what is the answer? Three. Okay, we have to divide by three. Very good. So what is the answer? Now 39, you want to divide all the number by three, right? Because it comes in the table of three. So okay, if you divide 39 by three, mm. what is the answer? 13. 13, very good. Next? Eight. Eight. Next? Six. Six, very good. So whenever we have to find the equivalent ratio, it's, depends, it's up to you. You want to multiply with any number or you want to divide by any number. Okay. So now here, we, all the three numbers can be divided by three. So we divide all the numbers by three. So we get the, our ratio 13 is to 8 is to 6. Now next number, you have to fill in the blank. This is 40 is to what? This is the question mark. Equals to 14 is to 6. 14 is to 6. Now, if you see the first number, you compare the first number of these two. This is 42. This is 14. So 14 times how much is 42? What is the relation between 14 and 42? What, what do you think? What is the relation between 14 and 42? 14 times how much is 42? Who will tell me? Jason. 14 times how much is 42? Why the class is so quiet? Okay, come on. Give me the answer. 3. Very good. Times 3. So to find this, to find the blank, uh, by what number we should multiply? 6. So what do you think? What should, what should come here? 14 times 3 is 42. The same number you times 3. So what yeah. is 6 times 3? What is 6 times 3? 18. Very good. So I will write my answer 18. Do you understand this? Yeah. Very good. Okay. Okay, wait. My battery is low. So let me plug in. Okay. Uh, can you read the next question? 
Okay. I'm giving you two minutes. Read question number three. Think about the question. The class. Yes, I think. Okay, I move this. I move to the next question. Uh, miss, I know the answer. Okay. It's all together. Okay, very good. I just erase all these so that we can move to the next question. I know the answer for the next question. Okay, you know. Okay, let's see how we do it. Uh, the number of boys divided by seven. Yeah, very good. The ratio of the number of the boys to the number of girls. So you have given that boys is to girls is equals to seven is to eight. So your first number, your first number represent boys, right? And your second number, uh, second number represent girls, pink for girls, right? So this is boys, this is, these are girls. If there are 42 boys in the class, find the number of girls. Yes, Maxi, so how you have done it? First, let's make the model, okay? So boys, if I consider as boy as seven units, now if I make the model, these pink is for girls, right? So I write it girls and I make the green for the boys. Okay. Now you have given that boys are seven units, right? So this is whole is seven units, right? So I divide this into seven units. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now girls, now if I talk about the girls, the girls are eight units. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The girls are eight units. Okay. There are 42 boys. So that means this number is 42. Right? Because you have given that the boys are 42. So now what do you, what do you see here? So that means seven. I change this color. Okay, so what do you see here? I see seven units equals to 42, right? These are seven units. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven units equal to 42. So one unit equals to how much? Okay, now give me Kevin. One unit is equal to how much? One unit equal to how much, Kevin? 42 divided by 7. What is the answer, Kevin? 42 divided by 7. Uh, 7. What is 42 divided by 7? Uh, 7. Are you sure? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, 6. Yes, 6. So one unit equal to six. Now you have to find the number of girls. How many girls are here? How many unit girls? Girls are eight units. So if one unit equal to six, so eight units equal to how much? Six times eight, eight. equal to? 48. 
48. Very good. So what you will write in the end, the answer? You will write... So what you will write in the end, you will write the number of girls. S number of, the number of girls equals to 48. Okay. Is it clear to everyone? Is it clear to everyone? Okay. Now let's move to the next. Next question. wait let me see okay number three we are done right now let's do question number four okay let me erase this solution Uh, miss, yes. Can you go let my other device in? Yes. Okay, now let's move to the question number four. Okay, now what is question number four? Question number four is the ratio of Mark's height to Lee height. There are two children, Mark's and Lee. The ratio of their height is given to you. Eleven is to nine. Now, Mark is 34 centimeter taller than Lee. Now, what do you mean by 34 centimeter taller than Lee? Than Lee, there is a comparison. That means Mark is taller than Lee. And how much taller the Mark is? 34 centimeter. Find the Lee's height. Okay. Now, anybody can explain me this question, how to do it? Okay, so now the ratio is given to you. Okay, I will write down Mark's height. Oh, I don't need to write height. I just write Mark's is to Lee's. Lee, right? And Mark is to Lee is given to you. It is given to you how much? 11 is to 9. Now you have given that Mark is 34 centimeter taller than T. That means Mark is 34 centimeter taller than Now if I make the model of this, if I make Mark as 11, okay, this is for Mark. I change the color. I'll make... Okay, uh, miss? This is for Lee. Miss? Yes. Can you let my other device in? Okay. I cannot, I can't see. That request is not coming to me. Yeah. Okay. Now the mark is uh, 11 units. So I divide this into 11 units. Okay. So I divide, I divide, let me change the color. I divide this into 11 units. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Actually, I need to extend this 11. Oops. Going very fast. Can you again send me the request? And these are nine units. One. Uh Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one more, nine. Okay, so Mark is 11 unit and Lee is nine unit. And you have given that the difference in the height, this, the difference in the height is how much? 34 centimeter. This is the difference in the height. Can you see? This much is mark is bigger. 
So this is the difference in the height. Until here, it's the, so this is 34 centimeter. Now you have given that, that means, now mark is 11 units. And Lee is nine unit. The Lee is 11, uh, nine units. So you have given that 11 units minus nine unit. How much? Who will give me the answer? Oh. 11 unit, this is equal to how much centimeter? 11 units, if you find the difference between these two, how much is the difference between the mark height and the lease height? Two units. Two units, and this two units is equal to how much? 34 centimeter. Yes, very good. So 11 unit minus nine unit equal to 34 centimeter, which is equal to two unit. And this is equal to 34 centimeter. Okay. Thirty-four centimeter. Now one unit equals to how much? Seventeen. Thirty-four divided by two, which is equal to which is equal to set how much? Seventeen units right one unit equal to 17 not units one unit equal to 17 now what do you have to find out find the lease height now lee has how many units lease ha has how many units now lee this lee has how many unit nine unit right so nine unit equals to how much? Now I make a line here. So now nine units equals to how much? Who will tell me? One unit is 17. So nine unit will be 17 times nine. Now what is the answer? What is, can you calculate? You have the calculator with you, right? Or if you have remembered the table of 17. Okay, what is the answer, Kelly? What is 17 times 9? Tell me. 100? How much, Kelly? 153. Very good. 153 centimeter. Don't forget to write down the unit, okay? It's centimeter, meter, what? So the leaf height is 153 centimeter. All of you understand? Anyone who doesn't understand? All of Please you understand? Can I go to the toilet? Yes, Celesta, you, you can go to the toilet. Okay, anyone who doesn't understand? Shall we move to the next question? Darwin, you understand? Yes. Very good. So please give me the response. Do not mute yourself, okay? Now, let's... I erase this and let's move to the next question. Question number five. Okay. Now move to question number five. Okay. Now I raise this line also. Okay, so let's do question number five. Okay. Now read the question. 
the ratio of john's mathematics test uh, marks to the science uh, your marks is 9 is to 5 so he scored 90 marks for his math test how many more marks did he score for his math mathematics test than his science test now understand the question now the john gave two paper mathematics so mathematics i'm just writing with m is to you have given the science okay so mathematics is to science test ratio marks is given to you okay so this is equal to 9 is to 5 now 9 is to 5 i write 9 is to 5 okay so now next is so i'm writing this the marks is 9 is to 5 now he scored 90 marks for his math test now let's make the model i will make a small model this time so you have let's m is green so he score 9 units so i i make this as 9 units okay and science is 5 units and i you choose another color for science let red is science so for the science i make this is my stucking again yes okay so now you have to find the answer uh how many marks did he score for his mathematics okay so you have to find how many more marks he scored in mathematics as compared to science now you have given that maths is 9 unit right so that means if i divide this into 9 so let's i divide this into 9 1 2 3 Four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, my this is stuck in. I have this problem in the pen. So I just write here so you understand now. Nine units. Is equals to how much is 9 unit equals to 9 unit is equals to 90 marks because his score in mathematics 90 marks right so 1 unit equals to how much 1 unit equals to 1 unit who will tell me what is 1 unit celesta can you tell help me if 9 units equal to 90 how much is 1 unit Ten. Very good. So what you have done? You are dividing ninety divided by nine. Okay. So your answer is ten. So now, if if one unit is ten, can you tell me how much marks did he score in science? How much marks did he score in science? Science is how many unit? Science is how many unit? Science is how many unit? Five unit, right? One, two, three, four, five. So science is one unit is ten. So science is five unit. Science equal to five times ten, which is equal to fifty. Now what is your question? The question is how many more marks it is called in? mathematics test then is science mark so how you find how many more marks did he score so maths he scored 90 marks is given to you science he scored 50 marks so how many more marks he scored 90 minus 50 which is equal to 
which is equal to how much? 90 minus 50? 40. So your answer is 40. That means he scored 40 more marks in science than math. Is it clear to everyone? Is it clear to everyone? 